Hey guys, Happy New Year. It's MRA and I'm here to celebrate the new year with a brand new figure. I've been busy as you guys know, sorry, just a lot of work lately and uh, uh, you know, busy with the kids because they're on winter break and I feel like I'm coming down with a little something so if, if I'm clearing my throat here and there, you know, pardon me because uh, my, yeah, my throat's a little bit raspy lately. So anyways, I got my new 3A Adam figure from the movie Real Steel and uh, it's a wonderful figure. I did a video review on Ambush a few months back and I've been waiting for this figure for quite a while and I don't know if I'm gonna pick up any more of the uh, robots from the series. I mean I love them but uh, they are quite pricey. They uh, range in the $300 uh, price range. $300 and up actually. And uh, yeah, I just really wanted to make sure I at least got Adam to go with my Ambush and my custom version here of Charlie Kenton. And here I have a stand with decals by Evil Face from the Sideshow Freaks forums. And I'm still going to upgrade my figure here. I mean, this is what I did a while back. I'm going to get a sweatshirt that's a little bit more accurate to the film. I think he had a black t-shirt on, and uh, I'll see if I can find some sweatpants for him, too. <clears throat> so real quick, let me get into the uh, 3A figure. Really amazing details that we can expect from uh, 3A. I just love the uh, mesh faceplate there with the uh, welding marks. I mean, it's just really incredible how they did all that. And it's like a real mesh over the face there and unfortunately 3A they don't include batteries with their figures like the Hot Toys figures so I can't use the uh, light up function for the uh, eyes there so uh, those take a few of those uh, smaller watch type uh, batteries to light that up but as we can expect again from 3A we can expect these amazing details and weathering <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> weathering on uh, their um, metal uh, effects here on things like robots that they do extremely well so just showing you some of the details guys I know there's a few videos out there I think Clipper King did a few uh, very thorough reviews And uh, my man, 1-6 scale, Carlos, also has a review. So this won't be too long. Just wanted to share with you mine real quick. And uh, got a few other figures during the holidays. So hopefully I'll find the time to uh, do a video on those. Show you some of the details on the back. Again, the fan, that'll spin. If I have, uh, you know, if I had the proper batteries, there's a switch right there for the uh, light up eyes. Again, if I had batteries, it would be amazing. And again, just really crazy details with all the rust effects and the weathering. Again, what 3A is known for and what I love about their stuff. I don't have uh, too much 3A stuff. I mean, the 1 6 collectibles. Uh, market is just crazy right now and I definitely couldn't afford everything so you gotta be smart and pick and choose and even though I'm trying that I mean I still do have quite a collection of figures in my collection already so anyways um was watching the film again recently and I could have sworn that uh, Hugh Jackman uh, he was a little taller in the film or you know, Adam, I thought he would be a little bit smaller, actually. So when I saw him, I was a little bit disappointed because I expected him to be a little bit smaller. Um, I believe in the film, Charlie would come up to maybe the top part of the circle or right at the chin line of uh, Adam. So seeing Adam this big kind of surprised me. I didn't think he'd be so huge. I knew Ambush was going to be big and all the other guys, but I really, again, thought Adam would just be a little bit smaller. Again, I thought, you know, Charlie would probably come up to, you know, his neckline or something like that. So seeing him 
this big really caught me off guard. But anyway, he's a cool figure nonetheless. You know, I can show you some of the uh, details here as to where he moves. You can swivel a little bit at the waist. You can see the arm, the fingers open up, which is really neat. There's movement in the thumbs. And uh, let's have some fun with these guys. Let me pair them up next to Ambush. Let me uh, grab my son. Hey, Jed, can you give me a hand? Let's see. We're going to play some Rock'em Sock'em Robots here. And uh, let's go. Go get Adam and let's go uh, have some fun. Okay. There's my son Jet, and he's gonna bring Adam. <laughs> okay, there he is. There's my ambush. Okay, go down there. Let's, let's... Uh, have him next to my quarter scale Batman. I'll try to do a video on those guys pretty soon. There's the Hot Toys uh, Dark Knight figure, and some of the NECA figures there. And as you can see, they look pretty cool side by side. Anyways, enough of that. There's Ambush. Ambush, yay. Are you ready to fight? Yeah, there's Adam. Are you ready? Cool. Anyways, uh-oh, where'd his head go? Knocked his head off. broken parts oh well so don't do this at home guys these are high-end fragile collectibles so you don't want to <laughs> really play rock'em sock'em robots with yours so anyways here's Adam missing his head where'd it go did it roll down there somewhere <laughs> any look anyways guys happy new year and uh, take care uh, keep on collecting and stay tuned for more videos Later. Bye-bye.